going? Let me turn up my volume here, man. I'm freaking yeah. blessed, bro. I'm freaking great. I'm freaking grinding. Hustle mode is on. Yeah. And I'm just fired up, man. Fired up. I don't know if you can tell, but my background here, I got into a new place. Um, just moving on up, man. Moving on up, trying to do the damn thing. You know what I mean? Wow. Did you did you guys move to a new house? Is that yeah, what I happened? Or? Yeah, my wife and I, we just got a, a, like an apartment right here in San Diego, but um, yeah. just love it, man. Love it. Like I... I've been in houses forever, but now like I have a nice apartment and I don't got to worry about shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. landscaping or anything like that. Like, yep. right. Like, so just have like amenity amenities and, and yeah, dude, it's just, it's in a cool location, like down the street from everything and everyone we need. Like, so we just moved in here a couple of days ago, man. So my office is a little freaking like empty, Yeah. but, um, just fired up, man. Now, you know, trying to level up. You know, so well, congratulations on that. Sounds like a good move, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, long time coming. We've been wanting to move for a few years now, and just closer to like my son and closer to my wife's mom and closer to my son's mom. And it's closer to school. like my little boy, he freaking two minutes he walks to school. Yeah, so it's, it's that type of situation, you know what I mean? So, really cool. Well, that's awesome, man. That's really good to hear. You know, change is good. You're, you're, you're thinking like an agent, man. That sounds right? good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, you're listening to all those things, you know, you're like, uh, I don't have to worry about anything. The landscape is taken care of. It's like, that's why you move into a you right? know, apartment or a condo because you don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. Yes, so, man. Yeah. Yes. And although I'm, I'm always, I'm always down to get my hands dirty, but it's like, damn dude, nowadays it's like, I, I try to protect my time. And it's yeah. like, and, and then, and then I just learned to leverage, leverage, you know, stuff out, you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and not be the one to really work on my car, have someone work on it, you know, not really be the one yeah. to want to do my grass, have someone else do it. And, and yeah. it, I actually read in a book where, um, it was, what's the damn, t oh, it's going to bug me. It's, it's, um, let me share my screen real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. This book right here. Let me show you. Um, what was that? I think it was, let me see if I can Google it. It was this book that really, um, uh, success, success principles. I think it was success principles of the, of, let me see. Uh, it was this one right here, dude. Success principles from the Bible. Mm -hmm. I ended up reading this book, bro. Um, and it just kind of, it, it completely gave me a different perspective. It was, um, what was it? It's a super popular book. Um, it's one of the, it's one of these, dude, but that was, that was the title. But I don't know which one, which one it was, but I just, I, I read this book like about a year ago and it just, it, it completely gave me a different perspective on, on how to manage your time. And, 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 and where you should be putting your time if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to build, yeah. build, you know, build a business, for example. And <clears> the <throat> fact that a lot of people will look at, look at you where you're just maybe lazy, you don't want to learn how to fix your own car. Because I was kind of raised that way where it's like, dude, if you don't know how to fix your own car, you're a dumbass, right? Like yeah. if you don't know how to mow your own grass, you're freaking, you're, you're, you're going to be lazy. Yeah, That's how I was grown up, how I was raised where it's like, I have to know everything, but then I ended up reading this book, like not even long ago, I'm a grown ass adult and I'm finally reading this book where it's giving me a completely different mindset where it's like, dude, mm -hmm. if only the successful people think this way, only, only people that really have true wealth think this way where no, you don't have to do that. You leverage that stuff out. And when you leverage that stuff out, you're actually blessing other people. Like yeah. you're blessing the landscaper who would have not had work had you not hired him. You're blessing yeah, that plumber. You're blessing that mechanic. You know, so it's a completely different way to look at it. Where where it's I like, dude, like, like I'd rather have you clean my house because God knows you can use the extra income, and that's a blessing. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that changed my whole life, dude. That's, this is what, you know, the big key thing for me right now is time management. And it's great because, you know, I do like, I'm trying to focus on like time blocking. Right. And, you know, when you wake up and you, and you start doing things, give yourself a certain amount of time to do something and then move on to the next thing. And you, and you get these time and you feel very, not even feel, you just see the product productivity, mm -hmm. you know, you say it shouldn't take me more than 
30 minutes to do this and then uh, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't like just zone off into something else. I need to go to the next thing that I have, which might take an hour. And then after that, it's, and there's, it, by the time you've done four hours, you, you, you really accomplished that. You, know, you wrote some of your book, you, you did some of the stuff that you needed to do, the, you know, oh, the yeah. administrator stuff to build the stuff that we're doing. And, um, you know, so it, it takes a lot of focus, you know, it's like focusing yes, short amounts of time into these time blocks. And it's, I agree. Time management is huge. Some of delegating tasks to, letting somebody else do things can be valuable, yes, bring up your dude. time to do what's more valuable for you, you know, building your business, spending time with your son. Uh, so I agree hundred percent. hundred percent. And so, yeah, so yeah, long story short, moving into an apartment where I don't got to worry about none of that and just being comfortable. Like that's kind of where I'm at right now in my life. You know what I mean? Great. So I'm just, I'm awesome. thankful, man. What do you got going on? What are you working on? Well, you know, uh, I just really appreciate that you shared that, gave me that share code in Kartra and I got that installed and I thought, you know, maybe today would be a good day to jump into Kartra and yes. you can show me a little bit how to edit some of those, those assets in that, um, in that share code that you gave me, uh, just go over that a little bit. Uh, Let's do it. Um, I really want to focus on Kartra. I want to focus on putting some energy into Kartra and getting that kind of, you know, built up. And, and get that up and running heck yeah bro does your volume go higher or is that the highest your volume yeah, yeah. no it should go higher let's see how's that can you hear me yeah perfect is, is that better yeah that's better or is it still is that still pretty low that's fine that's perfect okay go ahead and share your screen okay share screen. so let's see Okay, perfect. So let me go to Kartra. Cool, man. Yeah, so I'm already logged in. Uh, I took I took advantage and, and made sure after after our last strategy session, I went I did what you did. I backed up everything to Dropbox, freed up space, closed some browser windows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm Heck trying to be yes. more organized too, you know, because yeah. uh, it just makes for an easier life. Do you, I use Dropbox like crazy, bro. Like I don't like me, like I learned from like years ago when I, when I had so many things stored on my, on my laptop and then I ended up getting my laptop stolen. This was probably like, like probably like, when was this? This was like, this was like 10 years ago, 10 mm -hmm. years ago. And I had so many pictures on there. And, and, and after that, dude, I'm like, never again, never again will I store anything on a laptop or never again will I store anything on a cell phone. Yeah. So to this day, bro, like on my phone, there's no images, there's no videos. If I, if, if my phone gets lost right now, I don't even care. Like there's nothing on here. Like everything is uploaded to Dropbox and then on my computer, no files, no images, no videos, no clutter, nothing, any important PDF, any important file, it's all on Dropbox. So I can lose my computer right now and I don't even give a, I don't care, you know? So yeah, yeah, dude, backing up everything is so important, man. So, so well, important. That's that's a footnote I'm going to take from you then. And I've already done that, taken that step. I want to get everything backed up into cloud. And yeah, dude, in the cloud, bro. Up. A lot yeah. of people save it on an, on an external Important. hard drive, but it's like, dang, dude, what if mm -hmm. you lose that external hard drive? You know what I mean? True. So it's yeah. like, what, I got to put it in the cloud. Yeah. yeah. You know? I, I agree. Good strategy, man. Heck yeah, dude. Okay. So what do we got? We got, um, we should have, we should have my communications. We should have my pages. We should have my forms. We should have my calendars. We should, um, yeah. If you click on, um, click on available campaigns. So you should, you should, yeah, you should see at the top available campaigns. Available campaigns. Yeah. yeah so the one that I shared over to you should be right there. Um, where is it at? Yeah, it's right there. The book one. Right here. Yeah. Perfect. Dude. Perfect. So then, um, if you click on, well, if you click on my products, I mean, that's where, that's where it kind of starts is, is my products to the left. To the left. Okay. Yeah. So my uh, products being up here to the left, up the, to the left, to the, to my products. Okay. Right there. So it all, it all starts there, you know, especially if you're, if you're selling, are you, are you, and that's one thing I, yeah, that's what I, I don't think I included in the share code was the product. So that's if you're sharing, that's if you're selling the product. So if you're selling your ebook, yeah. are you, are you selling it or are you giving it away? Well, so last time we talked, you know, you said maybe I should sell, I think I, I should probably sell it. I would like to sell it for five bucks. You know, I think that's a good, you know, I'm still, I'm still working on finishing up that book. Um, and I think selling that would probably be a good place to start. 
Yeah, you could for sure sell it. Um, what you would do, it's, it's all to you. You guide me on where you want to go. We can go products and set up a product or we can edit the other pages. You just let me know what you want to do. Um, well, if, if you think it's probably, it might be good to you know use that as we talked about also, I can use that as an offer. So maybe we actually, you know, if we want to edit it so that it can be given away um, as a free tool, you know, to to get people enticed. I think that's probably a good place to start as well. So maybe we want to go that route. And that might be my biggest advice where you started, you started as a free download and, yeah. and, and, and you use it for sure to run Facebook ads and, and that's a free download. Click, you know, click, click, learn more or click download to get your free copy. And what I would do if I were you is I would, and it's what I, it's what I've done. Um, like if you go to my business page, my Facebook business page, like I have like, mm -hmm. I have so many reviews, man. So what I, what I do is with the book, I'll, I'll tell them, I'll say, and, and, and it all started by giving it away for free where I'm like, okay, you're going to get a free download, but in return, would you mind giving me a review on it? And so in your case, start giving it away for free and then start getting reviews. And as you get okay. 10, 15, 20 reviews, now you have social proof and now you can start selling it. Okay. Because um, people can see, oh, great book. I read this book and blah, blah, blah. And that creates a buying frenzy. You know, people are like, damn. And, and, and the people that are seeing those reviews have no idea that those people actually got a free download. Right. right? They just think that it was always for sale. You know, so, so I think that might be a, be a good route for us to go if we want to work on, you know, setting that up, uh, setting up that, uh, um, that campaign and those, that funnel to do that it would be okay. amazing. So click on, click on my communications. So in my okay. communications, you'll have a list and you'll have the sequence. Um, see, so where's, did you import the share code? Uh, I did. Let's see. So let's I don't go think you, to, yeah, you, actually you did, you did import it, but I don't think you, you deploy, you imported I it, but I don't think you deployed it. Right. So let's deploy it, right? Let's deploy it. Do? Let's okay. deploy it. Click on my campaigns, available campaigns, and then click on the three okay. dots. Okay. Dots yeah. We got to deploy. deploy. Yeah. There we okay, go. Okay. So here we go. All right. Now you'll so, see, dude. So now with prefix campaign name, what's, uh, what do you advise me? What do you advise that I do here in this situation? Okay. So right here is just a prefix, just a few letters, give it, um, put just abbreviate it. And it's just, this is just internally, you can always delete this, but for the, for the deploy, you, they want you to categorize it and just have a prefix prefix. So what you can do is you okay. can put, uh, Ben's what's the name of the book? Uh, it's going to be, uh, health and wealth. Yeah, it's going to be, I haven't actually have a, have a, a, like come up with the name, the actual name yet. So I could, we could say BSF, like Ben sales funnel right now. If that works. Put BSF. You know, a, yeah. BSF. If that works perfect. for now. That's perfect. And then, and then campaign name, go ahead and, um, and, and you could take out the, yeah, you can, you can rename that. Okay. And so the campaign name can be, uh, book funnel. let's say book funnel. Yeah. Perfect. Right. And then import. import. Okay. okay. So this, yeah. See, so I, I know I, I included the product one as well. So um, now we'll be able to click on everything to the left and, and see everything. So go ahead okay. and press play. Watch this quick little video. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So X out of that. And then um, you can follow the red um, tabs to the right, but um, I'm going to walk you through all that anyways. Okay. So, um, so let's go ahead and click on my products to the left. So now, now everything is, is in. So if you click on my products to the left, okay. now you should see um, a product. Perfect. So okay. this is, this is where it starts. You know, we have one, I gave you two pages. I gave you the sales page if we want to sell it under my products. Mm -hmm. And then I gave you the, the landing page if you want to give it away for free. Okay. So you have the whole thing, dude. So, so 
in this case, what we can do is we can, well, first of all, did you set up a Stripe account? Uh, Stripe account, what, what is that? Okay, so you have to set up Stripe account. Do this part later, but open up a new tab. Okay. And, and just type in, um, go to Google and type in Stripe, S-T-R-I-P-E. Yeah, save this, bookmark this page. You'll um, set this up. This is your, your merchant account. Okay. So when it comes to people who sell stuff online, 99% um, of them use Stripe. So this is free, but they just charge you on every transaction, obviously, just like any credit card processor does. Yeah. And all of them are the same. So if you go to your local grocery store and you pay with your visa, that grocery store is paying a fee to the credit card company or to the merchant account. To the merchant. Okay. Stripe is the merchant account. So Stripe they charge like 2.9% of every transaction. Okay. Which is, it's, it's freaking, I hate it, dude, but it is what it but is. I mean, it is what it is. Right. I mean, it's some, it's part of the business, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a part of, it's, it's, it's a part of the business, bro. Like it's your expenses. And that's why sometimes when I charge clients like a thousand bucks or three grand, it's like, damn dude, I'm charging them. I'm charging them three grand through Stripe and Stripe is taking 2.9% of that three right. grand. Okay. You know, that's like a good little chunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. Just yeah, to process it, like a you, damn card. Just to process it, yeah. You know, so but this is something that I'll this is something that I'll should I do this like after our our session or yeah, do that now or yeah, you could do this after because you're gonna be putting in private okay. information, like you know, like okay. Yeah, so do this part after, but but save this, bookmark this, or remember this page because you'll need to set that up. Okay. And then do you have a that PayPal account? Um, I do have a PayPal account, yes. Okay, you need to just switch it to a business account. Okay, the PayPal the account. personal account. So you I'll might have it under personal, yeah. Yeah. So you'll log into PayPal later on, and then you'll switch it to a business account, which you should be able to see in the settings. Okay. Just switch it to business, and then that's when you can set up your product okay. in Kartra. So um, either so change it to a business. Uh, I don't need to open a new PayPal account. No, just no, yeah, you can just okay. change it. Yeah, in the settings. Okay. And awesome. so what what I would do is yeah, set up both of those for sure. Um, right. I, I mean, a lot of people will just go through or process. They'll buy your book and they'll pay with their credit card. But then there's a good amount that actually pay PayPal. And so if you didn't have that option, you probably wouldn't have made that sell. So you want to give all options. Got it. That makes total sense. Yeah. You know, so I, I've gotten so many PayPal orders and it's like, dang, dude, if I didn't have PayPal, I would have missed I out because some people don't want to put in their credit card, you know? For sure. That makes total so, sense. Okay. So let's go back to Kartra. So we'll do, you'll do my products later. Um, and that's okay. again, when you're selling it. So you can do that part later, but okay. Um, so go to Kartra and then um, what we'll do is we will click on, um my communications so right there my communications so now you have you'll have a list and you'll have um, a sequence so scheduled appointments that's what i sent you so i said so scheduled appointments that's for when like in my case with my funnel they go whether they're going to the um, paid book sales page which well, actually, you know what? Let's click on it right now. Hover over my okay. pages. Don't click on it. Just hover over my pages. Okay. Right click and open in new tab. Okay. Let's see. Right click. Open in, uh, in, in new tab. tab. Okay. So on my pages, let's look at that real quick. You have, these are all the pages, right? These are, um, well, hit, hit all categories. Do you have different pages set up? Hit all categories. And then do um, okay. So those are those are the ones that I sent over. So that's fine. Hit, scroll down a little bit. Let me see if you have any other pages. Just scroll down. Scroll down. No, not not in that. Just get out of that. Okay. So those are all my pages that I sent you, except for the bottom one, the blue. Yeah. This okay. Is the test one that you and I did. Yeah. Okay. Let's delete that one. Hit the three dots okay. and get rid of that one. Yeah. Okay. So what I sent you is, um, if you scroll down. Okay. So that one right there, the books, the, the book sales page in the middle. So that's the, the sales here. page. That's okay. the sales page. As they go to that page, that's the main home page. That's the main page, one page. 
you click on it, you buy the damn book. That's one page. Okay. When they buy, they go to a thank you page, which is scroll, which is which is right there. The the ones to the to the left and the right of it. You so you got the paid book okay. thank you, no down. You got the paid book thank you, and then you have the free book thank you. Thank you. Okay. So if they buy it, they end up going to the paid book thank you, thank you. and that's the thank you page. Okay. That's me on video saying, hey, Ben, or not Ben, I'm just saying, hey, thank you so much. This is, uh, here's the four points that, write this part down, because this is what you want to do as well. You want okay. this to be a video, dude, like for sure, for sure. On that thank you page, they need, to see, they need to see you. They need to see the real Ben. Yeah. On that video, that could be a short video. Here are the four points you want to hit on. Number one, thank them. They just bought your book. They just downloaded a free copy whatever it's time to thank them thank you thank yeah. you thank you like in that video right there i think i'm saying thank you three times dude as a first time okay. thank you thank you thank you thank you for purchasing or thank you for getting your copy like i'm literally just freaking just humbled by the damn thing right because i really am i truly am and i'm yeah. and, and, and i'm saying it in the video so i'm saying thank you that's number one okay number two i'm introducing myself um number three i'm letting them know that they just received an email so if you just purchased it, check your email. There will be a link for you to download it. Or if you just downloaded a free copy, um, and I don't need to really um, distinguish that in the video. I just leave it general. Hey, thank you so much for getting your copy. I don't say purchase or I don't say free download. I just leave it right. open. But number one, I'm saying thank you. Number two, I'm introducing myself. And number three, I'm telling them to check their email because I just sent them the link to download their copy. That's number three. And then also I'm telling them to check their emails because over the next few days, so right, right, right now is when I'm already programming their brain to think emails, check your email, check your email, check your email, check your email. And I tell them, I say, Hey man, check your email over the next few weeks because I have a ton of great training videos coming your way. So that's number three. That's point number three, check your emails. And then number four, this is in my case, I don't know how you're going to, how you want to set up your, your side of it all. But in that video, I'm telling them to schedule a call, you know, yeah. so that's just my whole business model. This is how I get clients. I, you know, I tell them to schedule a damn call. So if you open up that page, watch, just click on it, hover over uh, the book, the paid book. Thank you. Or any of them free book. Thing. Yeah. Click on it. Click. So right below you'll see the button. So in the video, I'm telling them, I'm saying, hey man, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a 30 minute strategy call. You know, so you don't have to have a calendar in yours and, and that might not be your model where you're going for an appointment. Um, but here's what you'll do. Here's the fourth one. Here's your fourth bullet point. Okay. Your fourth bullet point is gonna be click the link below to join our Facebook group. There you go. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my first strategy is try to just build some interest. Uh, my next one would probably be like you said, like get those consultations and get that, you know, get those uh, appointments set up. But like maybe right now get people into the Facebook group, get Facebook you know? get people into the Facebook group. That's the fourth call to action. Join, click the button below. It'll take you straight to our Facebook group where you can, you know, join our group and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's on the thank you page, man. So my whole point of telling you all this is, is that they go to the, the book, they go to the paid book page or they go to the free download page. It doesn't matter. X out of this part, either way, they're going to a thank you page. So those people who land on the thank you page, that's obviously a lead. So if you go back, open up the other Karcher tab, go back to the list, open Yeah, that one. So now we have, we have, a few lists. Now I have a list of everyone who got a free copy. I have a list of everyone who actually bought it. Um, and then I have a list of everyone who actually scheduled an appointment. Okay. So what you can do is you can maybe just take out the scheduled appointment one. You're not going to, I don't think you're going to need that one because you're not going for appointments. So you could take out that one, just X out of that one. X that one out. Okay. Yeah. X that one out. So those are the two lists right there. And then you can edit you can edit the title for sure. Just hit the pencil and you can edit the title and you can edit that sub um, title. Edit this here. Yeah. So you can just change that, you know, change that. 
in the next. It's a BSF free book. So what should I name of list? Um, what should I call this? Ben, is that okay? BSF free book for customers. Is that okay? Yeah, you can you can leave it at that. Okay. You can leave it at that, and then that public description is what you'll want to change for sure. Thank you for downloading your copy of right. Health and Wealth Hacks or whatever. Ben's Health and Wealth. Ben's Health and Wealth. Whatever. Yeah. For now I'll, I'll have to come up with whatever it's going to be, but I'll I'll change that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So copy that, and then and then you'll use that for the next one. Copy. Okay. So hit edit and then that's that and then change the bottom okay. one, the next one. Okay. So change that. So, so you remember want, everyone, want... everyone who fills out a form on any landing page mm -hmm. needs to go onto a list. So right. hit edit. Okay. So now you got your two lists and then if you scroll up, you're going to um, hover over communications and now you have sequences. Okay. So sequences are, is your drip system, is your email autoresponder. Those are the handful of emails that are going to go out after they download the book. So okay. after they opt in, click on that, they're going to get a handful of emails. And so that's what I have right here. So go ahead and open this up, hit the edit. Hit the edit. So in my case, um, they download the book, they buy the book, whatever. They're now on my list and they're now in my sequence. And when you open this up, you'll see just a handful of emails that I have set up. Um, re -name, rename the, the BSF TSREA. Yeah, rename. Oh yeah. Them. Not, okay, name that. What, what should I name that to? Your book, whatever the hell freaking... <laughs> Oh, name of sequence. Okay. Uh, Ben's Health and Wealth for now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the name of the sequence. And, and to be even, you, you want to kind of try to be as, as specific as possible. Like Ben's Health and Wealth, are you going to know that that's the book? Are you going to know that that's the opt in page that they. Um, like if you just look at that, like Ben's health and wealth, um, like what I try to do is I try to keep everything consistent. Like whatever okay. the, the list name is, that's the name of the sequence as well. Okay. Like I try to keep everything named the same just so I don't get confused. So, so what did you name the list? So the list, I don't know. What did we, what did we was name the list? BSF book yeah. funnel? Yeah, BSF book, uh, BSF funnel, I think. Just BSF funnel. Okay, so name that that then too. Okay. Yeah, name that. Okay, click edit. I think you did book funnel, but you could change it later. It's no big deal. But just okay. try to keep try to just for your own consistent. sake. Yeah, okay. you wanna you wanna keep everything the same. So click edit. So okay. in here, my whole strategy is again to get people to schedule a call. Like that's just, you know, my, my full-time business. That's what I do is I freaking talk to clients all damn day. Yeah. And so in my emails, that's what I'm trying to get them to do is click the button below to schedule your best time to talk, hit start tutorial and just go through this. So you can read this later, but this, this is all stuff that you're going to want to learn. Um, but you just scroll, scroll down, hit next, 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 just keep okay. hitting next. But, um, in my emails, like this is my whole sequence that I sent you right here. You're going to see five emails and in my five emails, and that's why I sent you all those pages. So if you go, yeah, click next, 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 next. If you go, um, click at the top tab again, the card chart, the other, yeah. Click on, let's get started. Oops. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get started. Good. Click on, yeah. Okay. Click on that. And then open up the other card chart tab. So if you look at all these pages, you have uh, BSF step one of five, step two of five, step three of five, step four of five, step five of five. So the way I have mine set up is open up the other cartridge tab, 
let's open up the first email. So okay. this starting rule, that right there is the red is anyone who purchased the book. And then the blue is anyone who opts into a form. Okay. So it's, it's anyone who opts in. So you're going to want to change that part. So let's edit that real quick. Okay. How, where do I edit that out? Um, hover over the starting rules up. Okay. Hover over, over the that. blue. Hover over the blue. Okay. Oh, over the blue. I see. Edit. Okay. okay. So anyone who who um, who fills out the form, or anyone who purchases the product, who purchases the book, those people are on a list. But those people are also in this sequence. Okay. That's the starting rule. So, click on order. Okay. So that right there is the product now you got to set yours up to stripe and paypal but that that's the product okay so so that's the starting rule give me one second okay so hit save so when a lead meets those criteria those two criteria that's what's going to trigger the next email that goes out so in my emails if you open up, hit the three dots and that, that email. So here's what happens. They, which, on, which, on which one? They opt in the three dots right there in the first email, day one, one day, down. No, uh, down, the three down. dots. Okay, it's here. here we go. Okay. Click edit. edit. So okay. when they purchase the book or when they download the free copy, they get an email right away. Okay, they get an email right away. The next day, that's when they get this one. So, okay. and they're only getting it if all of these recipients, if all of those tags are, are if, if, if they meet that criteria. So you're going to want to delete all of that. But this is, this, is, this is telling the system, scroll down, look at the recipients. We're looking at the recipients. So everything is about tags. Everything is about purchased like I have it set up right there, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. I have it set up where if they okay. purchase this product, then send them this. Or if they don't purchase this product, send them this email. So everything is based, is based around that. Like um, let's say, for example, you have something for sale, right? Like you have something for sale and, and, and a person buys it already. But then tomorrow they happen to find out that you have a book. And they go in, download your book, and now they're, they're in this sequence. And in this sequence, you're trying to get them to buy your product, but they've already bought it. So I don't want them to keep getting these emails. Although right. they downloaded my book after the fact, they purchased the product first. My email sequence is all about getting them to buy the product. But if they already bought it, they don't need to keep receiving these emails. Right. So I have it set up right here where if they purchase certain products of mine, they don't need to keep getting these emails. Right. Even okay. though they already, even though they download the book after they already purchased my product. So I don't need them getting these emails. Right. So this is where you can, you can, you can segment all of that. And that's super, super important. But in your case, you'll just, um, you'll just take out has purchased product, um, has tag, has not purchased. Yeah, you could take out has not. So click the pencil, the edit. Right, right here. Yeah, and you're gonna do this for all the other ones. We're, we won't go through all these together. You'll, you'll just, there's only five of them. So you'll do the other okay. four. So okay. X out, uh, purchased, purchased, purchased. Those last three. You last those three, ones. which are, uh, which, which one where it says purchase? Um, that one, this, that one, this one the here? second one and the third one. Yeah, X, 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 the bottom, yeah. Okay. okay, so has purchased product, they get these emails. Or right. they downloaded the free copy, they get this email. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Okay. okay, so hit edit. Okay. Okay, so now in here also, I can choose when I want the email to go out. So the delay, I have, I have one going out a day. And it's only one going out a day for five days. Mm -hmm. Now I have some funnels where I have one going out for freaking 25 days. So right. it just depends on your, on your business and your strategy. 
um, and, and your offer. So in this case, I just have five set up. And so um, the communication, you can choose day and time, but I just let, let that by default, let Kartra send it out whenever they send it out. Um, okay. As long as it's 24 hours later, they'll send it out whenever, um, 24 hours later, because if you scroll up, we have the delay for one day. So Got one it. day is 24 hours. So if you opt into my page right now and it's freaking 136, one day later tomorrow at 136, you're going to get this next email. So it, yeah, it's based on that delay time, but it's also, I can change the day and time and I can say, okay, send it tomorrow, but only send it between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. I could do that too, but I don't want to, I don't, don't do that. So the day and time, don't worry about that. Communication, that's just internally, that's the, ti that's the, the title. Um, here's step one of five. The gateway, you want to change that. So you have a .com email, right? Yes. So after we spoke last time, yeah. I, uh, I, I went and directed my, um, my email, my domain to, to this here. So once we create a landing page, it'll go to the landing page. So okay. I did do that through Bluehost. Do you have, did they help you set up an email? Yes. And I did that as well too. So I have Ben at Ben's Health and Wealth. Perfect. Uh, at uh, G, uh, at Ben's Health and Wealth, at, you know, dot com. So it's a Gmail, it's a Gmail based uh, account, but through Bluehost and it's uh, Ben at Ben's Health and Wealth dot com. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah. that's what's going to go in the gateway. Now, okay. you won't, you won't change it here. You can, you're going to have to change it here for now. Go ahead okay. and edit that. All right. But I'll show you where to put it. So you don't have to always keep changing it. Every time. it. Yeah. Okay. It'll be there by default. Okay. So the email gateway. So I change it here. So no, leave that there. It's just okay. a send from and the reply. Okay. So that's going to be. The same thing too. Yeah, so we'll um, we'll update that. Okay. I spelled everything right. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, and perfect. Then, so let's hit edit. Hit the green one. Okay. Okay. okay, perfect. So that's that, and then you'll just do that for for. Well, actually, let me let me touch on a few more things. So we got delay, okay. day and time, communication, gateway, uh, recipients. Split test, don't worry about. Email content is what is is where your text goes. And then the automation, don't worry about that right now. Okay. So email content. So this is where you'll open up every email and just edit the text. So edit the text. Back to the pages that I was showing you, step one of five, step two of five. My strategy, and this is what I recommend you do as well, is open that up, edit. No, click on the pencil. Oh, click on, okay. So the way I have mine set up, man, is when they download the book, I'm going to keep everything on that topic. I'm going to keep everything. When I communicate with you via email from this point on, especially in the first few emails, which are, which are what my sequence consists of. My sequence isn't 100 emails. It's the first five. Yeah. So in these first five, or it could be 10, whatever. But in these first handful of emails, they're automated. And they're going out without me lifting a finger. And they're all about what you downloaded. And this applies for any business. If you're a dentist and you're giving out a free coupon to download, to, you're running a Facebook ad and you're, you're promoting a, a, a coupon for a free teeth cleaning, that person clicks on your ad, they go to your landing page, they enter their name and email because they want a free download of a free coupon. Over the next five emails, those emails need to talk about that, that teeth cleaning. Those okay. first handful of emails need to talk about getting that person in to get their teeth cleaned. Same thing happens with the listing, the real estate agent. You're running an ad for a listing. That person goes to your landing page. They're interested in the property. They go to your landing page. They opt in. Over the next few days, those emails need to talk about that listing. Don't try to bring up you know, a different listing. Don't try to promote freaking first time home buying options. Like don't be trying right. to, you know, you know what I mean? It needs to stay on topic of what the hell they opted into. So right. in my case, 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the damn book. They just downloaded my book. So over the next five days, I'm going to talk about that book. And so the way I have my email set up here is when you click on step one, like those are all links, like step one, watch the video here. Those are hyperlinks. When you click on that, that takes them to my page. So that's the page I gave you, step one of five. Yeah. Okay. And in that, on that page is me talking about video, in video, me talking about step one in the book. And, and, and the whole call to action that I'm even saying in the video, hey, and by the way, if you guys need help with this, click the link below. It would take you straight to my page where you can schedule the time to talk. Can't wait to talk to you. So in my case, I'm trying to get them to schedule a call. And right. so I'm just bringing more value by putting myself out on video and talking about the book. Okay. Step one. And so in your case, what you, what you can do is have that video on that page talking about a piece of the book, chapter one, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be a long video, a couple minutes. And your whole call to action is to click the link below, you guys. Make sure you join our Facebook group because we're growing like wildfire right now and we're freaking excited. Click the link below. I'll see you guys in the Facebook group. Okay. So, so the reason why I have it set up this way and I have it going to a page because I could easily have them click on step one and they go straight to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Like I can have, because it's a video. So I can have that video linked they click on step one and boom, they're on my YouTube channel watching that video. But the reason why I have it going to a page is so I can keep their attention. They can watch my video and there's one button right below that they click on to schedule an appointment. So I keep their attention by keeping them on one page rather than having them click and they go to my YouTube channel. And before you know it, they're watching freaking videos on Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Oh Yeah. I want their attention. I need their attention. And at the, that's number one. Number two, there's one button. That's the call to action. Click the damn button. Join the Facebook group. Click the damn button. Schedule a call. So number two, the call to action. It's right there. So if you open up those pages, there's a button on all of them. Actually, I think you have five pages. I think there's like a button on three or four of them. We'll, we'll look at them right yeah. now. But then also the most important number three, why I take them to a page and not straight to my YouTube channel. When it's a video, I could easily take them to my YouTube channel. But the third most important reason, which should be number one, but I'll just name it three, is so I can Facebook pixel them. So when they land on that page, they click on step one, they're going to a page where I have my Facebook pixel tracking them. So now I can create all these, I can put all these people in a custom audience and run an ad to them in the future because these are all people who watched my step one or two, mm -hmm. one to five, one to nine. Like they, these are all people that landed on these pages. Yeah. And I'm tracking all that activity with my Facebook pixel. Okay. I couldn't track that if they went straight to my YouTube channel. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so, yeah. so that's the text. You can just edit all that out. Um, scroll down. Is there anything on the bottom? Yeah. So exactly. I got one question. So where it says, you know, will I uh, be able to get their, their first name? Do I have to put their name in there physically or does that auto populate? Like, do I need to go into a database to, to get, grab their name and put the name in there and send it? Or how does that work? No, that's all part of the opt-in form. They fill out the form. So it opts that. So it fills that in. Yeah, dude. When they opt into a form, they're automatically on that list. Okay. So their name populates in this email when it goes out to them. You mean right there at the top where it says name or first name? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Hell yeah. Like okay. click on, um, click on the pencil, the pink one. Okay. Yeah, dude, right there where it says first name, click on, um, click on dynamic variables to the left. Okay. So anytime you want to call them out by their name, you copy that first name and you paste it over in the text. Okay. So that's why when you see my emails go out to you, when you schedule an appointment, right. your name is in there. All I do is I copy first name and then I paste it wherever I want to call you by the first name at. 
I see. That's so. So wow, grab it. Co awesome. Copy it. First name. Copy, copy this it. one. Copy it. Oops. Copy, and then and then and then hit the pencil, the pink one again. And then just say, just paste. Like, hope you're well and crushing it today. And then paste it right after after today. Take away that exclamation. <clears throat> yeah, paste it. You might have to do Control V. Okay. Control V. Okay. Yeah, Control V. So wherever you want to place that first name, scroll back up. Did it do it? Are you on an Apple? Or are you on a um? PC. I'm on a, I'm on a Mac. Okay, so on Mac it's something different. I don't know what your yeah. paste is. Yeah, I forget what it is. Is it Command V? Let's see. There we go. Command V. Bam. Okay. So take away that exclamation, and just and just make it sit there pretty. Like make sure the the space is right. Like that's their first name. Hope you're well and crushing it today, Ben. Okay. So yeah, dude, that is the freaking variable that the dynamic variable that puts in their their name. Great. So once they once they opt in on that page, then it just start any email it sends them. It just puts in their yeah their dude. first name. It just puts it in. Okay. Oh yeah, but make sure the font is matching. So just highlight that first name. Highlight it. Okay. And, and just always check the font. Always check the size. So look, it's Arial sixteen. When the other text so, I think is eighteen or something, or is it all sixteen? Uh. Uh, it's all six. It's Arial. It's all Arial sixteen. Okay, uh, so yeah, just always make sure it's the same, and and it's, you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, dude. But I always put that first name. I'll put it in the subject line. I'll put it down below. Okay. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, that that auto populates their first name for sure. Okay. So awesome. um, That's good to know. And then what you'll do is you'll just yeah you could just like scroll down right where it says step one. Yeah, you might have to hit the pencil, the pink, the pink one. There we go. So highlight that step one. Not the dot. I don't think that the dot. Just yeah. everything but the dot. Yeah, highlight. There we go. And then and then hit the hyperlink. That link at the top. To the right. To the right. Where's that? Where's that? Right at? there, where it says one forty. To the right of one forty. One forty to the right of one forty. Right there. Right that, here. That, yeah, hit that. That's okay. where you'd put the link for the page. I see. Okay. So, so, th so this would be the link for the, the Facebook page or whatever, if I wanted to go to the Facebook page. No, for the Kartra yeah. page. For the Kartra page. Okay. Well, in this case, it's, it's a Kartra page. Yeah. Like, that's what I would do. Like, I would have the email written out and I would say, hey, man, click here to watch this video I just made or whatever. And you're talking about the book. Ah, I see. So they really see the video. Okay, so they're they're gonna click on this. They're gonna see the video. Well, what's the difference between step one and oh? Do they both? Do both of those go to the? So either you give them two options to go to the same video. So whatever either one they click on will take them to the video, and then the video will take them to after they watch the video, they can click on the link below to go to the Facebook group. Yes, dude. Exactly. Watch. Click. Okay. Send a test. Scroll down. Okay. Send a test to yourself. Scroll down. 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 Okay. Send a test, send it to yourself and open up that email real quick and test it. Okay. So just send it to. Send it to any of those that you have open right there or whatever. Okay. Those emails. Okay. So send a test. And then, so yeah, dude, look at what I'm saying. So click on um, either, either one of them, the step one or watch a video here or whatever. So it'd be, hey, Ben, here's step one of five. I so see. There's okay. an email. Click on it. Click on step one or watch the video. And so now I'm taking you to my page. And on this page, I'm Facebook pixeling you. I'm getting you to watch my video. And then if you need help with this step, schedule a call below. Oh, that's you click on that. It takes you straight to my calendar. Wow, that's awesome. That's my real email that I send out, man. That's, that's awesome. So then mine would be, you know, when they click on that, they can, since I'm not scheduling calendar right now, it could be a video that they watch and below is a link to go to the Facebook group. Yes, right? dude. That video yeah. should be, should be you talking about something about that book. Okay. Or maybe you're, here. 
That's awesome. Okay, so I can have that video there that talks about that first chapter of the book like we talked about and then click the link below. There's going to be lots of great information in this group. Bam. Uh, okay. Bam. That's, that's awesome. So on this page, I'm, I'm Facebook pixeling you. Um, I'm keeping your attention and there's only one button and that's the call to action. So that's why I take them to a page. And so the way those emails are set up and the way those pages are all set up is each one. So tomorrow you're going to get another email. Here's step two of five. Okay. You know, here's step three of five, you know, so in my book, I'm teaching five steps and that's what are in my emails. So well, that actually works out, works out well for me because my book's going to have five chapters. So dude, <laughs> it works, it's perfect. It's pretty, you've lined, you already lined it up for me. Perfect. Um, okay. So basically what I, my job, you know, some homework that I'm going to have to do is editing each one of those, those sequence emails um and, and critiquing it getting a video up uh you know there's a lot of work to do inside Kartra, right i'm gonna have to do yeah dude you got to rewrite those emails yeah okay and keep them simple too man i mean you don't got to go crazy like freaking author style like just put your own personality and, and yeah. that's why i love video man because i'm not the best writer either i i portray my information better via video not everyone's like that you might not even be mm -hmm. like that to tell you the truth if writing is, is your, you know, best thing, then, then, then you could probably get down on an email like that and write everything. But I, in me, I, my, in my case, I just write, try to write a little bit and then just try to portray my message in my video. Okay. You know, so I, I agree. I think that's a good, I think it's people want to watch more and read less yeah, these days anyway. So yeah, I think write less and, and, you know, record, record a quality video is probably the best way to go. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So um, that's email number one. So let's get out of this one. So hit the green one at the top, okay. edit. No, not that, not that. No, 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 not that. Not. Don't click that. Okay. The green edit. one. Yeah. Yeah. Edit. Okay. So then you'll just work on the next few emails, man. Okay. And that's the sequence. So model this first one, the recipients. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it is those recipients you'll want to edit uh email number two three four and five to model this okay. one okay okay so hit close and then hit uh, done and exit and you can always add more like if you wanted to add five more emails to the sequence you can Good. you can do that too okay so to the very left like let's say for example like let me walk you through one real quick just go to the very bottom okay let's say we add a six one okay so um let's x out of that line the line that's connected to automation and complete so it says uh right, right here no 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 the line the line the actual line right in between automation and complete yeah right there okay down 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 here. right there x out of that okay. yeah so close, right. yeah delete yeah x that and then x above the line above right there yeah x perfect x, x that okay. So now let's just drag them down, drag complete, hover over complete and just drag it down a, a bit. Let's see. Um, yeah, right there. There right. we go. Ooh. Perfect. Something happened. That's okay, fine. Is that good? Yeah, that's okay. good. And then the automation, drag that down a little bit. Okay. Let's just give it some room. Okay. Dra drag it down a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, I love this. It's very visual. Okay, perfect. And then now to the left, all we're going to really, I mean, as you get more advanced, you'll, you'll use automation, you'll use split, but right now just send email, like just focus on send email. So click, yeah. send email to the left, Okay. up, uh, left, email. click okay. and drag and drop it right below, right there, drop it right there, okay. bam. So just let it go and then boom. So now this is going to go wait a number of days. So let's wait one day. So now okay. they're going to get an email every day for the next seven days. Okay. So wait for one day, change that zero to one. And then you can leave the hours. So you can leave that there. Um, okay. And then um, hit next. Okay. And then any time of the day is fine. Yeah, I always or, leave it, leave it. Yeah, leave it. Hit next. Okay. 
And, and then, so this okay. is where you just name it. So just like the other one, step one of five, step two of five, step, this is just an internally. So you can, you know, look at everything from this point and see what it is. So just put, I don't know, put step one of six, just so you can, one of six, yeah. you can always change it later. One, six. Okay. Right. So hit next. And then the gateway we got to change that email again, okay. but once I have you update it, then it'll be there by default. Okay. But we got to update it first. Okay. Okay. Next. And the recipients, you could put, um, send if like at this point, when you're this far down, in the starting rules, we put whoever opted into this form and whoever purchased this product. That's the starting rules. But by the time you get down to this email, some people are going to unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. So the recipient send if they're still subscribed. So okay. hit the drop down, select, hit the drop down, send if subscribed to list. list. Okay. And so the list is either one. So change to do both of them. The, uh, let's do that one. Add. Yeah. And then you got and or or you have or. So click okay. the and. Or you're gonna want to go with or subscribed to list, yes. and then choose the other one. <laughs> so if they're still subscribed at this point then this email will go to them. If they're not, then they're not getting this email. Okay. Next. And then split test. Don't worry about that single email. Just do okay. single, single email. And then next. And then there goes the content. So when it comes to the content, when it comes to email, I'll always click on advanced. I'll create one template and I'll use that over and over and over. So above advanced, the blue, yeah, click on that. Yeah, click advanced. Yeah, click, yeah, click that. Okay, so now you're in advanced. Click on design templates. Click on my templates. Let me see if there's something in my templates. This is where your template will be stored, the one that I want you to save. Can you click on my templates? Mm, yeah, it's not, uh... It's not letting you click. Okay. So you have nothing yeah. to say. That's fine. So what you can do is I always, I'll create a template. I'll create, so click on full templates. You can see a bunch of like Karcher has a bunch of them already designed. You okay. can either use one of these and go off of that. Like you can delete, you can edit, you can take out the blue, you can change it to purple. Like you can do so many, so many things with the actual template. It's just like building a page. Um, or you can build your own template. And so this right here is super important because I like to keep everything consistent, man. Yeah. So my emails, I want them all to look the same, same footer, yeah. same copyright, like same, same, like just basic template, right? Like I don't yeah. want to send them that one. And then all of a sudden tomorrow they get a different one. That's all purple, right? right. It's like, you got to be consistent with the, with the aesthetics of all your stuff, okay. pages and email. So you can either choose one of these and, and, and work around it, or you can build your own. So if you click back right there where it says full templates, click that back arrow. Yeah. Click on. Yeah. There you go. That one. Click on that one. So you can go headline, you can go text, you can go content. You can, you can, you can just drag it, click it, drag it over, drop it. And you, yeah, you'll see drop. So you just drop it. So you can just play around with this and just, and just drag all these little things over and start building out. And then what I end up doing is I'll put a off for sure. Always make sure I put a footer. So yeah. hit, hit the back and then, and then go down and go like, so there's buttons, there's all kinds of things, man. A footer. Oh, I see. So I'll, I'll make sure I grab that footer, link up all of the social links actually okay. drag it to the very bottom not right there so um 
I think you can, I think you can hover over it, hover over it. Can you drag, actually, no, you get, yeah, you exit out. Probably can, they can exit out and you have to. On the page you can drag, but on the email, okay. you, you can't. So just, yeah, I'll just drag to the very, very bottom, then let it go. Yeah, right there, drop your blog. Okay. So I'll like link up all those and then, and then, and then I'll have a template and then I'll save as template. And then I okay. use that one over and over and over and over. Okay. So when you go into the next email, you're going to see it. So click the back, right there, footers, the arrow, click back. As you go into email number three, you'll just simply go scroll up on the headers hero section to the left. Scroll up right there. So you'll have it in my templates right there. So on email number three, email number four, you click on that and then you'll see the full see. template and just drag it over and then just re-edit everything. Okay. So this is if I'm building an email and saving it as a template and then I have it in, as a template, I can use it again. Yeah. If I want to. Okay. Just edit the words, but I save it because of the footer really. I, I don't want to keep redoing that footer. Right. Sure. And, and I want it to be the same on every email. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a sequence, these are emails that are going out automated or whether it's a, whether it's a broadcast, which is an email that I'm just randomly sending out right now. Like the email you got a, a week ago about subscribing to my channel, mm -hmm. that was a broadcast. So I just came in here, sent one random email to everybody, but I used my same template. Yeah. So whether it's sequences or whether it's a, a broadcast email, you want to keep everything consistent. Okay. Got it. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> you know, so, so that is, so subject line, go ahead and um, click on dynamic variables to the left. Yeah. Click on that, grab the first name and, and just paste it for the heck of it. Just paste it in the, um, just the first name. Grab, no, grab the whole thing. Grab the whole thing. You're missing the parenthesis thing. No, you're missing. Yeah, you're, no. You gotta make sure you grab. If you don't grab that whole thing, dude, you're gonna. It's gonna say first name. It's gonna look just like that in the damn email. It'll just. It'll break the link. Yeah. If you don't do it. And they'll but, be like, "What the heck is this guy doing?" So where did I put that at? Just put that like down here. Yes. No, actually, I would put in the sub in the subject line. <laughs> the subject line. Okay. So oh, I'll, it's wherever line. you want. I mean, there's no right or wrong yeah. place, but I. Okay. I'll always call people out. You know, use their first name in the subject line. Hey, hey, right. Ben, did you see this latest video? You know, like I'll always put that in the subject, yeah. their first name. Like right there. Okay. So that that's it. So you can, yeah, if you want to save that, you can save that. But that'll take me some time to play around with. And like you said, get the colors down and make sure I test it, send it to myself and test it, make sure it's, you know, send it yeah. to you, <laughs> let you, let you see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. So now here's what you'll do. So let's, um, so scroll up, hit the, okay. um, hit the green one, edit or next. I mean, hit next. next. Okay. So that's that email, email and then automation, just hit create the green one. Okay. Okay. So that, so you just created a new email right there. So now what you got to do is hit the three dots and hit activate. Okay. Uh, this one here. Activate. Okay. Activate. Okay. And now you're going to just simply, that's why I wanted you to, you know, move it down and give it some space because look where it's I at. See. Yeah. So just move it. Yeah. Drop it. Yeah. There you go. So, so now just okay? connect them. Okay. So now, so how do you connect them? How do you do that? Just hover over the, the gray. Yeah. Grab it and then drop, drop, click. Ooh. Okay, so this goes like that. There you go. There you go. Connect okay. the dots. That's it. Okay. So grab the last ones. So grab these two down yeah, here. Yeah, connect them. Connect them. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's not a straight line, right? This is just for visuals. Well, go ahead and do this and then, um, then you can um, click on that to the very, very top, those three lines at the very, very top. Uh-huh. Uh, no, 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 no. Click the three lines enough. at the very top, like, no, to the, in the black, the very top the, of the page, very the, top of the page. The no, to the right, to the right, those the three right, lines. Uh, rocking it, there we go. 
Uh, I'm missing it. Where is it at? Um, right there above. Move your cursor above seven days. Okay. Seven Nothing. days right yeah, here? Up, up. No, up. Up to the left. Right here. Oh, right there. Those, those lines right there. Right there. Click on that. Okay. And now everything is aligned. I see. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Snapped into place. So that's a sequence. So this right here is time consuming, man. This is, this is the part where you're going to have to spend some time and, and write out these damn emails. Yeah. But, but it's a, it's a one-time thing and you got to get it done. That's your drip system. That's, you got to nurture the list. These people okay. have to be hearing from you, you know, and that, that's a, that's a huge, huge thing that people don't do. Um, when they go and run Facebook ads, when they go and try to capture leads, they think they could just capture the lead and that's it. It's like, yeah. damn, dude, you better nurture that list. That lead better hear from you over the next few days or else they ain't going to know who you are. You know what I mean? So right. this part is so, so important, man. So, so important. Okay. Um, so write those out when you have a minute. Hit done and exit. That's the sequence. Okay. okay. So that's the sequence. And I'm going to, and to get to that, I go just to make sure I can get back to it. So that's under, is that under my communications? My communications, communications sequences. Sequences. Okay. So I need to go spend some time. So I've got some stuff to do. I've got to record a video and, um, you know, put that up. I've got to write out those emails. That's going to take a while to do that. So that's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. The emails don't have to be crazy long, you know, just, right. just make it make sense to your, you know, to what I'm doing. Yeah. To what you're doing. Okay. Um, and then my pages, what you'll need to do is you'll need to, you'll need to add your Facebook pixel to all of these pages. So X out of this one, just close that tab. Close this one out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like you'll have to add your Facebook pixel to all those pages. Like okay. that's what you'll want to do as well is um, I have videos on installing your Facebook pixel. Okay. Maybe I'll watch those and, and yeah, that's what you got to do for sure. Yeah. Add Facebook pixel to those pages. Okay. Yes. And then you got to obviously edit the text on all the pages, you know? Right. So having the template here just saved you time on having to find the pages. Yeah. Everything is already in place. And so you just got to go in there and edit. Yes. And this makes total sense now. So now I can, you saved me some, I mean, I can't imagine it's so thankful dude that you're sharing this stuff because I can't imagine just trying to build this up. I can imagine building yep. it once I become more versed in it. I could see myself doing it, but without you like giving me this and allowing me to edit so I can see how an actual funnel actually works, how to set up the drip, how to capture. This is a lot, man. This is like right. Everybody out there watching it. This is, this is, uh, you know, thankful we have David Quintero. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks bro. Thanks. Yeah. Dude. And it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's, it is time consuming. It is a project. Um, yeah. but at the same time, it's a freaking machine, bro. Mm -hmm. Like once you have the damn thing going, like now it just comes down to running ads to the page to fill the funnel. Yeah. That's all okay. it comes down to, man. That's all it comes down to. So you got to do the upfront work, but after that it becomes a machine. So I, I did all this stuff once and there's always constant tweaking, right? Like uh, you're going to always constantly be tweaking a page or an email. Like that's where I spend a lot of my time is constantly tweaking shit because yeah. I'll, I'll test my own funnel and, and, and I'll, I'll get on my list and I'll receive those emails. And if there's a word off, I go back in and change the whole damn thing. If there's a sentence off, if I missed a period, if I didn't cross a T, like I am constantly checking my shit. Um, yeah. And so I'll just put myself in there as a lead. I'll go to my page. I'll opt in. I'll freaking act as if I'm a lead and, and, and I'm always tweaking it. But at the same time, once you're, once, once you've done enough tweaking, then it's just time to launch the damn thing. Like yeah. I've been, I've been tweaking for the last few months. I've been tweaking this funnel that I put together for my, for my digital course that I'm selling for a thousand dollars. Yeah. And I've been constantly tweaking the freaking emails and making sure that every word freaking makes sense, making sure that every page is freaking set up. But at the same time, it's, it's an investment of my time up front. After that, bro, it could freaking pay you for years to come. Yeah, for sure. You know, you're, 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 no, you're on it, man. And this, this is like, uh, you've got me super, 
super pumped, man. I'm just really d- driving forwards. Like, you know, every day I'm just you know, trying to set up tasks and do things. It's, there's so much to do. You know, set, I'm setting up an LLC. I'm doing everything. I'm just doing the full gamut, you know. Uh, you know, it took me, it's like, it, it takes a while sometimes to set your domain up and get your email and do all this stuff. Like everything is, is, is time. You Here's know, what so. I would do first if I were you. I would I would have my budget on Kartra and Facebook ads. Mm-hmm. Nothing else. Nothing else right now. Not no LLC, okay. not no other random shit. Like, no, dude. Like, I need a budget for Facebook ads, and I need to be able to pay for my Kartra every month. That's okay. it. That's it. That's it. That's my first that's like, my focus. Okay. Yeah, bro, because you don't, you don't need an LLC right now, like, at all, at all. Like, I still don't even have an LLC. So, okay. um that's the last thing you need. You have everything else going like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the last thing anyone needs really. Um, and, and when you really start cranking it, then that's when you go protect yourself. But until okay. then, shit, we don't even know if this is going to work. To tell you the truth, true. right? You got to test it. You got to freaking get yeah. the damn thing rolling first. Yeah. Um, no, you're right. You're right. I, right. That's, that's so, why I'm glad I got you, you know, giving me this advice and tell me which, which way to go with it. Yes, man. So click on my forms. Okay. So now, now, there's my forms. There should be two forms in there. Um, you can get rid of the test. So you got the strategy call and you got the free book. The paid book is not a form. The paid book is under my products. Mm-hmm. So when they go and purchase the book, that's when they're on a list. But okay. if they're not purchasing anything, they're only opting in to a list. They go through a form. Okay. So the free book, nothing for sale. It's a free book. Go to my landing page, put your name and email, opt in, free book. That's a form. Go to my calendar, schedule an appointment. That's a form. Okay. Right? So, so, so get rid of the test one. You don't need that test on there. Okay. You, have, um, you have these two forms right here. And so um, the free book, click on the three dots. Let's edit that. When you go to a landing page, that form is on a landing page. That's where you put a form pretty much most of the time. Click on edit. Okay. And then um, whenever you fill out a form, that person automatically is on a list and that person automatically goes to a thank you page. It go, they, mm-hmm. go, they go to a confirmation page on any, on any landing page, on any funnel. If I go to your any funnel, I don't care what it is. If I go to a funnel page, if I go to a web page and I put in my name and email and I click submit, where do I go next? That's here in my forms. So right. we need to tell Kartra what page to put them on or what page to send them to. We need to tell Kartra um, what list to put them on when they fill out this form. So okay. name and first name. First name and email is all you want to ask for. Don't ask for a phone number. You don't need more information than first and email. Nor do people okay. like giving it up. Like they don't want to give yeah. you a phone number. So save and next. And then the confirmation page. So here I have it set up where when they fill out the form, they go to that thank you page. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's the page of me on video where I'm trying to get them to schedule a call. So okay. it's already set up. So save and next. Um, and then we got to change your email. We got to change your email. Um, okay. So let's let, yeah, you can do it here. So change. So this is the email that it's coming from. So for example, they go to your page, they download your free book. It's coming from this email. So whatever email, so put your other email in there. So right here. So. Yeah. But I'm going to show you where to update that. So you don't have to keep doing it. Go ahead and copy that, copy the whole thing because we're going to paste it in over here. Okay, copy that. Okay, hit save. The green one, save above. Save. Oops, save, okay. So this is the welcome message. So this is the first email. Click on change. This is the first email that they receive. So Ben, here's your book. And this is the, the email that they get right away with the link to download my book. Okay. So that welcome email, the first email is in my forms. 
the second email that they're going to get tomorrow that's in my sequences. Right. Okay. Okay. So download your book here. And so all you're going to do. So this is. Go ahead. So I'm sorry, this is where they, 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 they click this and then in my situation, they'll download the book and then it'll take them to where they can join the Facebook group. Is that No. You, well, you can for sure set it up that way. Um, but if they click on that button, then it, they just download the book. So you can put that link for the Facebook group wherever you want. That Facebook link is going to be on the thank you page. Okay. Uh, it could be in email number two. I would probably put the email, put it in email number two. Right now, it's all about the yeah. book. <clears throat> okay. So download your book. That second email that they receive tomorrow, click the button to join our group. Okay. You know, so um, I'll show you. So so let's do this real quick. Hover over um, my memberships on the left. Don't click on it. Hover over it. Right click. Open a new link. Open a new tab. Click on files at the top. Okay, so this is where you're gonna upload your book. So your PDF, okay. this is where you're gonna upload it. This is where I upload it, okay. And this is where you're gonna see the link for it. It's gonna be a okay. PDF, so it's gonna be a, there's gonna be a link. You take that link and you put it in that button. Okay. So go back to the email. Okay. Hover over my button. Well, I like it back. So go the back tab. To yeah, hit the tab. Okay. So scroll down, hover over the button, open it up, edit the pink one. So that link would go right there, right where I have mine. So take out mine right there. Oh, go I to see. the left, so to the left, the URL, to the left. No, don't click oh. on anything. All right. To the left. You, you? No, to the very left, 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 left. That URL link. So this is where I put right there, right here. Yeah, yeah. that's the link for my book. Okay, so, so pull that out. But my put my, the link to to mine. Yeah, so take that one out. That's where you would paste your link. Okay. Oh, you 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 got to hover over the button again. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I would take this so out. Double click it. Double click it and delete. That's where your URL would go for your book. Okay. Beautiful. So that's the first email. You'll just rewrite that email. Um, and that's, and that's it. So hit the, um, go up, hit the um, green one. Let's save. That. So that's the welcome okay. message. That's the welcome email. That's the one that triggers right away. Hit save and next. Okay. And then right when they opt in, they're automatically subscribed to that list. Okay. Okay. Subscribe to sequences. I don't do it here. I do it in the sequences with the starting rule. Okay. So the starting rule is what is what sets up the sequence. I don't do it here. So okay. hit the bottom, the save and next. Save and next. And that's it. And then and then my videos. I think I I don't know if I if if there's any videos that I sent over. Um Actually, there might be. I think I did. Yeah. So these are all the videos that are on my email pages. Okay. So you can delete. You can for sure delete all those, but you can, um, I just have it there as a template, but that's where you can, so you can have five videos and rather than uploading them to YouTube, you can upload them here onto Kartra. Okay. And then that video is on a Kartra page. Okay. Okay. So you can always delete those later. And then my calendar is, is your calendar. Um, I don't know if you set one up and no, I don't even know if you really need one right now. Right. With what you're trying to do. I, yeah. With, I think with the, what I'm, with what I'm focusing on right now, I think, you know, trying to get people yeah, calendared yeah. is not my focus. Yeah. So go ahead and delete that one just so we don't have clutter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Three dots delete. Okay. And then you can always set one up by clicking the green button. So okay. let's let's cool. update that email real quick. Click on my integrations. Okay. 
and then go ahead and click on the three dots Kartra mail. So now as you go and set up any email, as you go and set up any uh, welcome email, whatever, by default, this will be the email. That would be perfect. There. Be great. Perfect. So that's that. And then what you're going to do here also is you're going to set up your Stripe. You're going to set up your PayPal. And then down here is where you're going to connect it. So if you scroll down, mm -hmm. you'll see PayPal right there. So you'll hit those three dots and just follow the, the instructions. You'll click on new integration, or you can click on deck our technical, technical documentation if you need really a, a walkthrough. But okay. that part's pretty simple. You should be able to get to that part by just following the directions and then stripe three dots and then just go through the, the stripe process. Okay. So that's if you're selling the book. You know, if right now, what I yeah. highly recommend you do right now is don't even sell it. Just give it away for free, capture yeah. some reviews, and then freaking be able to sell it. Okay. Yeah, I you think want that's the a reviews good, first. I think that's a good plan of attack. I really think that's yeah, like dude. really yeah. solid. So you got to just spend some time going there and edit everything, get the okay. book done, and then start start running some Facebook ads, man. Okay. So I think that's like next steps is just edit everything, critique mm -hmm. it, test it. I'll, I'll even send you an email that show you my videos, mm -hmm. get everything mm -hmm. edited, um, get, you know, set this stuff up, get all this like admin stuff done. And then, like you said, next step is, you know, get that book out there and, and start running some ads and see how it see how it fares out you know yes bro yes that's that's what's next man and it's a never-ending freaking project you know you're going to continue to yeah. get better you're going to always be getting better like yeah like yeah dude like don't think i knew this stuff from the beginning like i just kept freaking learning it and kept tweaking my own funnels and jumping on these weekly calls that's where i learned everything man yeah. so you'll know it like the back of your hand in no time Thank you, man. This is like, this is a lot. And this is really great because this is really going to put me, I'm really excited to do all this and, and get it going and, and, you know, move up the, the, the next step here. You yes, know, dude. A lot. And, and start, start making your YouTube videos, bro. I'm telling you, like, yeah, you should for so sure. I actually, I actually did an intro video that I'm going to put up and I'm going to start doing two, like you said, two every week, two That's videos it, a week where I start putting stuff up. There's a lot of backtracking stuff that we talked about. And then there's a lot of, you know, just moving forward with things, just uh, get two videos up a week. So, and even as you're just randomly working on your, on your, on your project here, man, there's so many videos that you can, you could be doing like yeah, two a week is cool. But at the same time, if you're working on this stuff 24 seven, you should be put, making a video 24 seven. Okay. Like on everything, like on anything and everything, as you come in here and you go and edit your, my communications, press record. Okay. Hey, hey guys, I just want to jump on it real quick. I'm going to show you how I go through my communications and freaking edit these damn emails. I'm pretty fired up. I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through how I do it. Hey okay. guys, I'm in my pages. I'm going to be building this simple page. This can be, you know, attached to my sales funnel. I'm going to be capturing leads with my book. I'm going to just walk you through it and just show you how I'm doing it. Okay. Like all these little random things that you're doing, bro. Document, document, document. When you think of two a week, you're already thinking I got to create two a week. You're already in the creative yeah. mindset thinking, what the right. hell can I create? It's like, bro, mm -hmm. you're never going to create like document, document. That's what I, that's all I'm doing here, bro. With, with these, why do you think I take these calls for free with you? So I can yeah. document it Human. and put it on YouTube. Right. And monetize it that way. You know? And, and it's like, dude, like, it, yeah, you, you gotta be doing that. You gotta be documenting, document what you're doing. Okay. Don't try to create all these little random things, turn them into videos. Okay. I'm telling you, there's a, there's, there's millions of people that are a few steps behind you that would find value in what you're doing. So even, even though when my, you're not even far in your journey yet. Yeah. And even though my, my page is set up to give people information about health and wellness, don't worry about it. Continue to put up information about how to configure a, a YouTube YouTube channel and a Facebook group and do Kartra and all this, all this stuff. Yes, dude. Everything is on, is on topic of, of landing pages and, and, and affiliate marketing. 
Um, and that's your whole, that's your whole niche affiliate yeah. marketing and, and landing pages. Okay. Build a YouTube channel around that. Okay. Build a YouTube channel around that, man. Document these little random video, document these little random things that you're doing with, with Kartra, okay. with your Facebook group, with getting affiliate offers, finding different platforms to get links from document all that, bro. Those, those should all be videos. All those should be okay. videos, man. Okay. Because I'm again, again, the videos, the YouTube, the main, main thing that I'm, that I'm seeing with, with my YouTube channel. And I'm so thankful for even starting one and just saying, screw it. I'm going to just do it. Mm -hmm. It's not even the back end money of it. It's not even that. It's not even the fact that I'm now seeing some money from it. It's not even that. That's a main part to tell you the truth because shit, at least I'm seeing income from it, you know, and that income can offset some random expenses that we all have. Right. So I'm definitely thankful for that, but that's not even really the big, big, big reason that I'm seeing now from, you know, already a couple years doing it. What I'm really getting back is the credibility. Like people mm -hmm. look at my YouTube channel and they're like, damn, this guy has hundreds of videos talking about the same shit. Like this guy must be super legit. You know how many clients yeah. I get on the back end, bro, just from freaking the fact that I have a YouTube channel. Like, it's like, dude, like, like people know that I'm real. Like they're not questioning my credibility. They're not questioning yeah. that, that. They're not questioning my knowledge at all because who, that, who, no one else is doing video. Oh, I mean, there's a ton of people doing videos, but at the same time, me, like you, you are you. So, so the moment they go and look up you and they find you have a YouTube channel and you've been doing videos on this for the past seven months, it's like, dang, dude, I'm not going to question the guy. He's freaking legit doing a damn video yeah. every day talking about all this stuff. Heck yeah. I'm going to see what he's doing. Had I not had this YouTube channel, bro, I would not have video out. And people wouldn't find me as credible. Yeah. That, that, that's the biggest takeaway that I'm seeing with my YouTube channel right now is the fact mm -hmm. that clients, like even in my, day, in my daytime business, I have a marketing business where I run ads and teach real estate agents how to run ads. These agents that, 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 that would have not taken me seriously had they not seen my YouTube channel with hundreds of videos of me talking about what I'm pitching them. You know how much credibility that gives me, dude? Yeah. Had they not seen that? You know what I mean? And, and again, none of it's professional. None of it is edited. I don't know how to edit none of this crap. Right. Raw, uncut, press record, upload to YouTube. You know, but, but, but the consistency and the thumbnail, yeah, all that plays a part too, but just get the damn thing up. Yeah. Just get it up because it's going to help your brand in, in the long run, man. That's my point. It's helping my brand more than anything. Yeah. Um, it's helping me land clients because they know I'm the real deal because of all these videos that I'm putting out talking about what I'm pitching, you know? So you're going all in. Cool, man. Document well, it, man. You know, document it. Okay. Cool. You're right, bud. You're right. All right, bro. So hit me up if you need anything else, man. Schedule a call whenever needed and let's chat soon. Yeah. So next time you, next time you see me, uh, we're going to have a lot, a lot of stuff done and some documentation. Let's do it, Ben. Let's do it, brother. All right, buddy. All right, man. God bless, bro. Hit me up anytime. Thank you for everything, David. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. You're very welcome. All right, buddy. Later. Peace.